Hey, welcome back to G. Parker's Arcade. I'm in the office again, zipping up some folders and getting stuff ready for another zip file that is going to be available for you to download. This week I am doing, uh, let's see, what do we do? Class of 1812. It's a, a visual pinball X table. I've got everything all zipped up for you. I got the table downloaded. I got the uh, direct B2S back glass along with uh, getting a uh, cover photo and some uh, video for your marquee and some video for your gameplay demo there on your front end of Pinball Emporium. Again, this is all set up in the nice little folders for you to put onto um, Pinball Emporium. Here's what we got here. Uh, this is the file you're going to download. It'll be in the description down below. Again, PE Class 1812 WM Pinball Emporium Class 1812 with media. Uh, you're going to have that. It's going to be in your download folder. Should be once you download it. Right click on it. I use 7-zip and I'm going to extract files here. Okay. There's our collections folder and our emulators folder just as they would appear in Pinball Emporium. As in the past, I open up two Windows Explorers here, as you can see, I've got one on the right, or Windows File Explorer that is. I got the one on the right, one on the left shows my downloads and the extracted files. Over here I have, at the root of C, I have Pinball and Porium. Just to make sure there's no problems, I extract, I grab these and I move them over to the Pinball Emporium folder. Right in there like that. Gonna move them all right over there. There's 18 items there. Let's count your files, your back glass, and all that. And there's my computer making noises at me. What the heck is going on? But everything worked. Everything looks good. Now what I do is I just come back over here, and you can see the uh, class of 1812 zip that's in the download folder. I just delete that. You can keep it if you want to archive it or whatever. But uh, you shouldn't need that. No sense in clogging up your computer with a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, with that being said, I am going to, uh, well, let's just go ahead and open this up and I'll just launch it from here. We'll launch Pinball Emporium and see how a class of 1812 loaded up and what it all looks like. Okay, hopefully I made it over to the Pinball Emporium folder. Wow, we got some volume going on here. Have the monitor turned way up. Again, I do these on the uh, PC in the office, and then once I'm sure they're okay, I've got two uh, virtual or video pinball tables uh, that I've built that are in my uh, arcade, and I uh, just transfer them over there by putting them on the server and uh, in the house and using the internal network and just do the same install that I did here only uh, over the network onto the uh, tables and they work fine. But enough about that, you don't want to hear about how I do all that. Let's go over here to Visual Pinball X. Again, I'm in Pinball Emporium. I'm going to go down here to Class of 1812. Fortunately, C is down here close. There it is, right there. As you can see, ooh, look at the bats coming at you on the back glass. There you go, that's the video marquee, the gameplay. Let's shift up here and come back and you can see that I've got the little uh, cover art there. Anyway, it's all right there for you. Let's start the game. Okay, another one of those ones where let's take and uh, drag this DMD up and see. See, we've got built into the back glass what looks like already uh, some scores and stuff that, uh, you know, stuff in your back glass that you don't, just don't need this. I don't think I need this. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to move your mouse around within this. You, you have to go back one of my earlier videos and... Uh, I'll show you how you can make sure you can get your mouse to show up when you're running these. There's some settings you got to do in Visual Pinball. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is hit the F. Uh, let's see, I forget which one I hit. It's. Oh, I got to be over here on the screen, that's why. Hit F1. 
You got your mouse has got to be on the main screen. Hit F1. Use external DMD if you can see that. And I'm looking up. If you're wondering why I'm looking up, I've got a vertical in the office. I've got a vertically mounted screen on the wall, and uh, so I got to look way up there. And then over here, where I'm looking now, behind you on the camera is uh, my back glass. So this is how I got it set up. That's why I'm always looking up. But anyway, enough about that. Use external DMD. I'm going to unclick that. If you can see that, it should be sideways on your screen. But just then click that. You hit F1 to get there. And again, you've got to be, have it so your mouse is visible on your screen. I did a video on that earlier. You can check that out. and It shows you how to make that happen if you're having trouble with that. Unclick Use External DMD. Hit OK. You'll get this uh, notice that changes will take effect once you restart Visual VPN MAME, whatever. So hit OK. Hit Escape or whatever escapes you back to your front end. Okay, now let's just launch the game again. Now, that external DMD should be gone. Now you can see our back glass shows your credits, shows your score and everything that you need right there. Let's add a coin. Is that another coin? Okay, you got you had to add two coins to get one credit. You can see here I hit, hit credit again. Now I got two. Okay, then hit C to start the game. And let's launch a bone. Let's play this thing. Class of 1812, an old Gottlieb table. Oh! Pretty cool table. Let's see if I can catch that. Well, I want to look over here. I, yep, my uh, back glass is keeping the score. No need for that external DMD. So, it shows we got one credit on the board and 158,390 so far. Let's keep it going. Oh, ball out. 268480 plus a $65,000 bonus. 333480 Ball two. That is a great... Whoever put that together, that direct B2S back glass, did a great job. Gotta give a hats off to all these creators of these tables and these back glasses. Again, I don't want to take away from that. I'm not doing any of that. All I'm doing is putting these files together for you into a zip file, all in one place, so you can download it and get going as quick as you can. Have some fun playing these guys' beautiful tables. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. Oh, I got a multi-ball going here. I did have a multi-ball. I lost one, so I lost. Get this ball under control here, and let's try to make some. Let's go up for that right lane up there. Nope. Almost. I'm just not getting it up in the lanes there. Oh, oh. Ball under control. It's all in getting that ball under control. See that big tongue sticking out? And is that a ramp going up that way? No, I like that ramp right next to it. There, we made it up there. And we made it up that ramp where we had lit up. So, if you're watching my scores over there, hopefully I... 
Ooh, yeah, must have done pretty good, something pretty good there. Now I'm at 2,017,630. Not bad. And we got multi ball going on here. Let's see if we can. Oh, we got them both. Let's launch the right one. Right flipper toward that left ramp. Oh, we missed. Well, that was bad. Let's go left flipper. That right ramp. Nope. We did get up into the pop bumper, so. Oh, made it up that left ramp. Oh, made it up the right ramp. Oh, through the spinner and into the backfield. Let this settle down here a minute. Let's go back for that right ramp. Of course, nothing's lit up there. Right up the middle. And right down the middle. That's probably going right up the middle. Okay, what do we end up with? 2,917,690. Uh, what was our match? Oh, match night. Wow, we hit the match. Let's see if it said we get another credit. That's shown some high scores there, which I didn't get into. Yeah, now we got two credits. I think we had one when we started. We actually hit the match. And I, ne I never used to pay that much attention to that in these games until I realized that they actually had this on these uh, visual pinball tables. That uh, you know, all, all these uh, virtual type pinball tables. A lot of them have it. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. Kind of like my uh, my real table. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, the uh, class of 1812, a Gottlieb table. Uh, you've got all your files zipped up into one. Uh, the, uh, in the description is the link to the uh, download where you'll get the zipped up folder that's going to have everything you need to throw this on Pinball Emporium. Hey, uh, I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing if you like. Uh, I'm going to try to put these out every week. So far, I've been trying to get out uh, once out uh, Friday, Saturday, something like that. So. Uh, Anyway, thanks for coming around and looking. Have a good day. If I can just get out of this.